A roadside memorial, now a daily reminder of a tragedy at sea. Lori Cogswell's son, Aaron, was among the six fishermen who died when their boat, the Chief William Solace, piled high with scallops, capsized in the Bay of Fundy. I want people to be accountable, say, hey, we messed up, but we'll fix it. But I don't see any of that happening. Now the Transportation Safety Board says Transport Canada should have required the boat to undergo a stability test. The boat's owner, Yarmouth Sea Products, had made a number of structural changes to it, including adding a large metal A-frame. Furthermore, the TSB says five years earlier, another tragedy off the coast of B.C. prompted it to recommend all small fishing vessels undergo stability tests. The government has not mandated that recommendation. And another six fish harvesters didn't make it home from what could have been a preventable accident. How many more people have to be lost at sea before those changes are made? The Transportation Safety Board also says the crew didn't have access to written guidelines on things like the safe loading and stowing of catch. Federal law says boat owners must provide those guidelines, but they're not required to confirm to Transport Canada that they've done so. The ongoing lack of regulatory oversight means that fishing crews are routine, routinely operating on vessels without even knowing how to stay safe or how to respond when things go wrong. Transport Canada declined an interview request, but in a statement says it is reviewing the TSB report and will respond within the required 90 days. Yarmouth Sea Products also declined an interview. I can't have my son's death go unnoticed. Lori Cogswell's husband and stepdaughter are also fish harvesters. She wants the government to better protect all crews and give her peace of mind when her own loved ones head back out on the water. Kayla Hounsel, CBC News, Annapolis Valley First Nation.